But first, Gene starts with the new Stephen King movie, Silver Bullet. How's this for a capsule review? Silver Bullet is laughably bad most of the time. The rest of the time, it's simply gross. When, for example, a young woman is being attacked on a bed by the werewolf, and he's just clawing her bloody. Now, someday this movie may turn up on one of our guilty pleasures lists, believe it or not, of a film that's so bad, it's good, because some of the scenes in this film are hilariously bad. <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to make my guilty pleasures list, because it's so, so bad, I don't know if I could ever get to feel that it's any way good. <laughs> when, for example, did you ever expect to see, get this scene now, a priest who is a werewolf try to run down in his car a crippled child riding in a souped-up, specially equipped motorcycle? That's an astonishing scene. And how about another astonishing piece of dialogue? When a woman says to her husband, who's very scared, are you making lemonade in your pants? <laughs> that is the dialogue line that comes from the planet X, as Roger would, would say. Now, there's a concluding scene in the movie that occurs when two of the terrorized children in this town with the werewolf running around, along with their Uncle Red, played by the once great actor Gary Busey, are confronted by the werewolf who's lurking just outside their house. Gonna burn yourself up sometime doing that, Uncle Red. Probably will. If that would have gone off, that would have been the end of our silver bullet. This is too much. You guys are going to bed. But Uncle Red, you said. I know what I said. But it's 10 till 3 in the morning, and it's not coming. The moon's not down yet. Well, it's damn near down. I'm going to sit up the rest of the night with a stupid gun in my lap because I promised I'd do that. But you're going to bed, and so are you. What happens if I say no? Ooh, now if I told you everything that is wrong with this movie, we wouldn't have any time left for any of the other films on this show. One, the story is not credible. Two, the characters are laughable. Three, the child's ailment is exploited. Four, people escape dangerous si situations simply through an edit to them being safe. Five, the identity of the werewolf is tipped in the first five minutes. If you can't figure out who the werewolf is, you never should go into a movie theater. <laughs> Six, there is needless and hilarious narration by the young girl there as an adult, played like she's 60 years old and only it's nine years later. <laughs> now I think I'll take a, take a breath, stop, and leave Roger to name number seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven that are wrong with this movie. Gene, I'm going to astonish you. I'm giving this movie thumbs up as a comedy. I think you totally missed the point, and I don't know why you missed the point, because I was sitting four people away from you yes, in the theater, yes. and I haven't heard you laugh harder in the last two years at a movie. Yes. I think you have to look at Silver Bullet in the same way that you look at Airplane as a satire of airport, yes. Top Secret as a satire of spy movies, this movie is such a hilarious parody of the entire Stephen King genre that in some demented way, it's a comic masterpiece. And Roger, if I could tell you, <laughs> if I could believe that, you know I'm, I felt it might be going I hope you way. do believe I'm telling I, you. That, I, I believe that you say okay. that. Okay. But I'm telling you this, that if I could have that certified in some way, that the people made this with the intention mm -hmm. to spoof all the time, then I would say, okay, you've got something there. But here's no, what I don't, I don't think, think. I don't think you need, I don't, you no, don't no, need no. a certificate because I don't think it's possible to make a movie this bad by accident. I think oh, that no. the people who made this movie... <laughs> yeah, what about Porky's? They knew exactly what... about what, Porky's? Porky's is not this bad or this good or this funny. This movie is right down the middle of parody of the entire Stephen King thing. Uh, I think the stuff involving the kid in the wheelchair was, is not a parody. I don't think that's a parody, Roger. I think it is, and I think the fact I don't think that the, the rape... proof that it's a parody is that it's a souped-up wheelchair I think that, that goes 60 miles an I hour. think the rape of the woman is not a parody. That is, that is very... You're, I think you're over-exaggerating that. That is a very mild scene as horror movies go, and you know that. Uh, that's a pretty rough scene. I was surprised to see well, it so early on. In that case, maybe... Let's put it this way. I, I don't even want to say let the audience decide. If you go to this one... It's his fault, not mine. Okay, I'll take, I'll take the blame. I'll okay. take the blame. Next, may recall that we both laughed at the Stephen King thriller, Silver Bullet. Roger, however, was laughing with the film. I was laughing at the film. A split vote, thumbs up, thumbs down.